Hello everybody, welcome back to LAB. I feel like it's been forever since I've been in front of a camera because I've had kind of a busy October. Those of you who follow my socials will know that I've been here, there and everywhere. October is tech month and awards month. So I've been London, I've been Birmingham, I've been all over the place getting involved in pretty much just about anything that involves the legal scene. So first of all, huge thank you to those of you who voted for my winner of the year award. I did take it home, here it is. Huge thanks to those of you who took that time. Um, still kind of in shock from the whole thing, to be honest. Um, as a thank you to those of you who did vote, I am donating one pound per vote to Love Brum Charity, who's a charity of the night, and the charity for which I'm an ambassador, which you guys probably know if you've been following me for a while. So just as a little thank you to you guys for taking that time, you will also be donating to charity. Aside from awards, I've also been at Legal Geek. I friggin' love Legal Geek. It is my fate. I think it is literally my favourite day of the whole year, actually. I mean, I love Christmas, but Legal Geek is just the best. My face was hurting by the end of the day from just so much grinning. I did vlog it, but the same thing happened this year as happened last year, where I just got so flippin' excited about the whole thing that I just ran around all day and didn't really explain any of what was actually going on or any useful information. I was just fangirling, basically. So I am gonna show you what happened at the end of this video, but I thought I would just give you like a two minute summary so that this video is somewhat educational because the bits that I shot are not remotely helpful to your understanding of what happened on the day. So Legal Geek is the biggest law tech conference in the world, I think. They do one in London and they also do one in New York now as well, which happened in June of this year. And it's basically the best gathering of all the law tech minds and also the legal minds as well. Not everybody there is in technology because I think everybody needs to have an understanding of what's going on in the law tech space, even if you're not in law tech or you're not a technologist yourself, if you're a lawyer who is trying to run a business in the current climate, then you need to understand what's happening in law tech. So it's just such a fun day and everyone is so friendly. You get to meet people from all over the world. Everybody just wants to network and hear about what other people are doing. And it's just such a good opportunity to hear about what's really, really going on. The day, the, for, the format is basically in a big warehouse kind of style building. That's where it's been for the last couple of years. And there's a number of different stages, three stages, and there's people, speakers talking all day long basically on a variety of different topics you can pick and choose what you want to go to there's a startup alley as well so there are loads of little sort of startups who have desks and stands that you can go and talk to they can show you demos and stuff like that and then there's places to eat drink hang out and be merry so it's just such a fun place to be you don't have to be into tech obviously i'm into tech which means i think it's the best thing ever but you don't have to be so let's talk about the key themes for the day. I'm not gonna go through all of them because I'd be here all day. And if you follow me on Instagram, I actually did an Instagram story throughout the day and I've saved it as a highlight, which has key quotes from different speakers. And it also links all of their social media details on there as well. So if you're interested in who was speaking and you wanna follow them, head to my Instagram page and have a look at that highlight. So. There was one very major theme throughout the day and it was actually pretty prevalent last year as well and this is the key word across the industry at the moment. I don't know if you've ever played that game at a wedding where everybody assigns each other a word and whenever that word comes up in the speeches you have to drink. So I was thinking as I was sat at Legal Geek that if I had this word as my word and I was playing that game I would have been slammoed about half an hour into the conference because of how often this was said and progressively more so throughout the day. So what is the key word? The key word is client centric or client centricity, which does pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. So it's all about building a legal business which centers around your client. That sounds obvious, but actually there are a number of other things that your business could center around. And really what we're talking about now is the heart of being a successful business is to make sure that your business is entirely focused around your client and what your client needs and making the experience enjoyable for your client. This roots back into some of the concepts that I covered in Tales of the Tech Revolution part one and two, when I was talking about competition within the market. There is now so much competition for clients in terms of who and where they can get their legal services delivered. So you've got law firms, you've potentially got the big four, you've got alternative legal business structures. There are so many different ways of delivering legal services that you cannot afford 
to not tailor your service specifically to your client because they will just go somewhere else if they're not getting the best experience. So the concept throughout the day was how do we make our businesses more client centric? How do we focus our businesses around our clients? And this kind of had a number of different facets to it. We talked a lot about customer and client experience, which is, is a facet of that essentially. And it's how you can actually make the whole process more enjoyable for your client. And that session was delivered by Susan Hackett, who was hilarious. I think this is the one that sticks in my mind the most because she was so real about how rubbish lawyers are sometimes in terms of providing a good experience to their clients. And it was actually really interesting. I think I got some of that on Instagram as well that you might be able to see. We then talked about collaboration. So how collaboration between lawyers and other businesses, lawyers and tech companies, and interestingly, law firms and potentially their competitors and how that kind of collaboration can make the experience better for the client and deliver a better quality of service for your client than perhaps just operating in a silo. Aside from that, there were also real sort of niche spin-offs about specifically different types of tech and data and pretty much anything you could think of across those three stages throughout the day. I think there were over a hundred speakers, so you were always gonna find something to interest you. Some of it slightly more in depth about the tech, some of it more about service delivery generally for lawyers. So you could kind of pick what you wanted to go to depending on how into your hard core tech you were but I just had fun all day. I went to loads of different sessions, I hung around and spoke to loads of people which you're going to see in a minute. But anyway guys Legal Geek is insanely good. If you're interested in the legal market and the legal world around you, even if you're not that into tech, just sign up and get a ticket. It's such a good networking opportunity. Okay, before I go on for too long, I am gonna leave it there because those were really the key concepts that I wanted to cover with you. And now you're gonna see what happened on the day. I'll link all of the details about Legal Geek and how you can sign up for tickets and stuff in the description below. Definitely follow them on all of their socials and have a look on their website as well because there's a lot of cool stuff on there. All right, hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back again next week. Hopefully things are kind of cray up in the LAB house at the moment. So I will try and upload as often as I can, but there's loads going on. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Many cool people here. I've been talking all 
about legalisation and how to get more innovation and tech education into universities. But it's been really interesting because everybody's on the same level, that everybody wants to get you guys more involved in tech and to make you understand how you can get involved in legal tech at your stage. So there are some blossoming relationships going on here and hopefully there will be some more interesting developments on LAB in that fashion. So I haven't actually even been to that many talks actually. I went to the opener and hopefully you've seen some shots from that. There's a couple more things I want to go to later. I've spoken to Mary Bonser from Flex, who you remember from previous videos. Also Owen Oliver's here. You remember I did a Law Tech panel with him a while ago. Jeremy Hopkins, I've talked about him previously from Riverview um, on my EY Riverview blog. So everybody's here and guys you should definitely definitely come next year because it's not just the tech geeks. There's loads of students here as well and there's so many opportunities for you guys to get involved. So definitely sign up next year. I'll link all the details in the description anyway so you know where to sign up um, and hopefully I'll see you here next year. Clouds and they are bigger, and that is the worrying thing. It's that any one of these issues we could deal with, we've got the big four alternative providers, cyber threats, and our market has just gone massive. So it's a few stats. I mean, we are in an 850 billion dollar market. Okay, the ASP market, 10.7 billion billion dollars. Uh, you've got 14 billion investments in prop tech, um, legal tech, 15.9 billion. First things first, luminance. So for those of you who weren't at the demo session earlier. Luminance uses the latest developments of machine learning technology. We have a core engine called Light, the legal inference transformation engine, which reads and understands human language and then learns from the internet in interaction with lawyers to get better and better at analyzing documentation. What that means for you as a lawyer is that you work 100% of the class for the very first time, the very first day that you use Luminance. I want a t-shirt, but happily, there are tools that we can use. And so today, there's a profusion of contract analysis software tools out in the market. And, uh, but you can't just pick just any tool. Because that, it's not going to really do too much for you. Good news is, there are actually proper tools out there. <laughs> and if you find one that's accurate, that's robust, that's comprehensive, that's battle tested, does what you need, you can use it to actually make work and get at your contract capital. Right, that is it team, we are done, over and out. I've pretty much spoken to everybody that I want to speak to. I've seen just about everybody speak that I wanted to see. And now it is time for the after party over the road. 